Hotep Gemini. Welcome to your Twin Flame love reading for the month of November 2020. I am the Cosmic Divine Tarot and uh, Gemini. This here is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith, Suns. If it resonates with you, go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifier to know and it will be uploading more of your messages, Gemini. Now, uh, if it doesn't resonate with you, baby, don't even worry about that because you know I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit you up again. Get you on the flip side, Gemini. Also, you need to know that it's like after 3 a.m. going on 4 a.m. And I'm just up at night doing readings. I did doing your readings. I did Pisces. Just finished Aries reading. Now I'm doing you, Gemini. <clears throat> Gemini, check this out, baby. I ordered a new oracle deck called the Barberry Zodiac, okay? And uh, I just wanted to, you know, pull some Zodiac signs for you to get a bit, a little bit more of an uh, accurate message for you. All right, so, so far I see these three cards that came out after I shuffled for you about a hundred times, Gemini. First card is the Saturn, okay? The Saturn came out. Now, I know that Capricorn rules Saturn as well as Aquarius. So, you may be dealing with an Aquarius or a Capricorn or a Libra, all right, for your twin flame. Water came out too. So, it could be a, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That is your twin flame, okay, that, you, that you're dealing with here. <clears throat> I'm going to be utilizing the Love Oracle cards too for the reading. Call upon my higher being. Call upon my ancestors and Panasaru, the guardians, as well as the universe, to get this accurate message for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith. All right, <clears throat> Gemini. How you doing, Gemini? You doing all right, baby? Oh, that's good, baby. And if you're not doing all right, then I hope you're going to get better after you get this reading, okay? Because I hope I can give you some information that you need, Gemini, all right? Give you one more shuffle. All right. <clears throat> Cut this little deck see what the heck. What messages do we have for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith. All right. First, altered view, Okay altered view so somebody's seeing things from a different perspective you know reevaluating realizing that the past may have been conditioning them to behave a certain way in their relationship could be you could be your twin flame got the uh, emotional intimacy all right so that's like uh realizing that love is energy realizing that you know your emotions need to get under control. All right, here we go. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio need to hear that. <clears throat> I don't know why these cards keep flow, falling out. I know you got a lot to say, huh, Gemini? All right, here we go. We got uh, wedding rings. Wedding rings, okay. So this may be somebody who you're married to or you want to get married to. You may be married to your twin flame. Here we go. What was that? The twin flame came out. Okay. Love to see that card, Twin Flame. So the messages we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We got a date here, okay? A date. Hmm. Meeting someone new. Okay, what is this? The lightning speed. This is all three of y'all got the lightning speed. The Pisces and the Aries got the lightning speed. Aries got lightning speed right here, right where it's at for you, Gemini. Mm. Love. Aries got the love over on this side, too. Damn. Like, what is really going on out here? Magical mindset. And this card says, stabbed in the back. Damn, Aries. <clears throat> I mean, uh, Gemini. Sorry, baby. Like I said, it's going on 4 a.m., you know. Cosmic Divine Tarot is trying to give you your reading when you wake up today, okay? 
All right, Gemini, let's see what the heck is going on here. <clears throat> like I said, your twin flame is seeing things from another viewpoint, okay? They're seeing things from another viewpoint. They're realizing that love is energy and that they need to get some control over themselves, you know? Their, their self, their inner child. You may be dealing with somebody who is very young at heart, very young, you know, in the way that they carry themselves, you know, like this person right here is holding a big ass heart. Like it's like somebody um, holding like some type of big ass teddy bear or some type of person who is just real young, you know, like they have a big old heart. Their heart is real big, right? And it's like this person needs to, you know, look at it from a different viewpoint whenever you switch up on them, Gemini. I mean, you're a Gemini. You have another flip side to you, okay? They have to accept that you have this other flip side to you, like, you know, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So they have to learn how to love both of you. And whenever your other side come out, stop being so daggone uh, sensitive to your other side. If they can't handle it, then they need to go ahead and find something else to do when your twin come out. They need to find something else to do. Maybe your twin don't even like how this person is so uh, emotionally needy. You know, when it comes to emotional intimacy, how they need to go ahead and blossom and grow a bit here. You may be dealing with somebody who's hell of a lot younger than you, who is your twin flame right here, your yin-yang, your person who's coupling. You know, y'all supposed to compliment each other, and which y'all do, all right? But you have a lot of love for this person, all right? And it's unconditional love, Gemini, because you being an air sign, you're going to have unconditional love for somebody. You're going to want oneness with this person. And that's oneness with both of you, both of y'all. You and your twin want somebody to be in love with them or want somebody to be attracted to them or want somebody who they are attracted to but i'm thinking that your other side is clashing with your twin flame your uh aquarius capricorn libra um cancer pisces scorpio okay now one of you want to meet somebody new okay that's what the date is here for you want to meet somebody new and you are manifesting this person because you don't seem to want your twin flame or your other side like i said don't want your twin flame you want to meet somebody new you want to get back out there you want to plan and set a date to meet somebody new and you're manifesting that it says everything is divine know that you are the creator of your reality co-manifest with the universe okay and you already know that gemini you already know that you co-create and co-manifest with the universe so what's happening here is that maybe you feel that yeah this person was your twin flame but maybe y'all went ahead and got engaged or or married too daggone quickly maybe that you know y'all let the whole thing go to y'all head that Y'all were twin flames and, and thinking that y'all were supposed to hold, get married and just do this thing. And maybe it was just too quick, man. Or it's saying that you want to get back out there. You want to, you know, get rid of your twin flame because they're just not, you know, emotional, emotionally intimate enough for you. You know what I'm saying? It could be that. Or it could be that you, yeah, like I said, you want to go and have a sudden change, a surprise, a sudden transformation from your twin flame to finding somebody new quickly. Okay, Gemini, that's what you want. And this is going to make them feel stabbed in the back, Gemini. They're going to be heartbroken and pain from the separation. And you know that. This, these both here say a shocking, shocking thing going on here. So your twin flame is going to be in shock about how are you just going to go ahead and leave them because you just don't want to deal with this or your other side don't want to deal with this. Like I said, there is two of you. Two of you here. We have two hearts right here, okay? There's you and then there is your, your twin. Both of them are you. So, <clears throat> maybe you plan on 
Maybe you plan on meeting somebody new, but not necessarily leaving your twin flame. Maybe you want to keep your twin flame and find someone new so that you can be completely satisfied. You want to get back out there quickly and find somebody who can satisfy your other side. Like maybe your twin flame is just, like I said, too young and too immature and don't know that they're supposed to be doing all kind of stuff to you in the bedroom. Don't know that they're supposed to be all nasty and freaky and, and, and whatnot with you. They're supposed to get down like that. They're supposed to, you know, not feel that there's any part of your body that is disgusting and, and shouldn't be explored. Maybe you feel that they should be in there sucking on your toes and, and licking all up in your, you know, your ass. Maybe you feel like that's what you want, you know. Maybe you feel that that's what you want, but this person is just not somebody who is freaky enough for you or for your other side because your other side is a freak okay think uh your other side is prince okay <laughs> your other side is like prince all right and uh <laughs> i can't think of another name for you <laughs> for the twin but you got another side of you that's like prince like real freaky and you need somebody to be freaky like that. And let, and on that note, let me go ahead and bring out the Manara, all right? Because these are some freaky-ass cards, Gemini, all right? Freaky. Now, if your other side is freaky, go ahead and bring out that other side to go ahead and see this. Because <laughs> these cards are off the charts, man. I looked at these cards. I said, okay, okay, all right. <clears throat> I see I'm not going to be playing with this. I'm going to be on my big girl game, all right? <laughs> now, Aries got it. Aries got it worse than, than anybody that I did utilize these cards with. You know, Aries got it because I feel Aries just going to need that. So let me see what's going on with you, Gemini. It could be that one side of uh, you is a freak and this person is only satisfying that side too but the other side of you you know needs some mental food needs some spiritual food and this person don't know how to satisfy that so you're trying to go out and find somebody who is going to be giving you that boost all right let me go ahead and see what other messages we have for you all right we got the four of air four of uh air is aquarius libra gemini well, this card is not too bad. <laughs> She's just naked on some type of film. All right, uh, Gemini. <clears throat> so, yeah, you, you're ready to withdraw. You're ready to withdraw because you're dreaming of somebody else in your life right now. Somebody who can satisfy you like that. All right, we got the four of water. So, yeah, all right, okay. Okay, so we got the four of air, four of water. So you you are not trying to accept the love of this person because the love of this person is not completing you entirely. What other messages we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus? Well, these cards look like they're being good for you. <laughs> Here is the uh, eight of Earth, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, all right? This is you. Having a magical mindset, manifesting with the universe. She's sitting in a lotus position. She's playing a musical instrument while she is like um, uh, manifesting with her mind. Just focused on something. Focused on this other type of person that you want, all right? What are the messages we have for Gemini, okay? Emperor. This is the emperor. So you're looking for an empress, or an emperor, someone who is all the queens in one, all the kings in one, somebody who is real freaky in the bedroom, somebody who is real like, you know, to have their emotions in check, somebody who has, you know, good communication for you physically, I mean, uh, spiritually, uh, emotionally, mentally, you know, some type of, some type of real food that you need, Gemini, because you are the, uh, the mind of the Zodiac, okay? You're the mind of the Zodiac, and that mind needs to be fed. What other messages we have for Gemini, okay? Two more cards came out. <clears throat> okay, we got the Ace of Water. So, yeah, you trying to start a new love with somebody who is an emperor or an empress. 
All right. Here is the uh, six of uh, Earth. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. All right. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So, yeah, you need somebody who is going to be satisfying you, you know, doing all types of strip teasing for you in the bedroom, too. Somebody who is going to be a real gift for you all the way around. That's what this is. This uh, six of uh, Earth right here. Somebody who is going to be a real treasure for you. Emperor or Empress. And you're doing this right now because you need this right now you've been dealing with this other person for far too daggone long and they haven't been satisfying you and you've been feeling dissatisfied too damn long now here's the dark mirror i'm happy the menorah cards was good for you <laughs> they weren't good for uh for aries man i said oh man <clears throat> Get you a few shuffles. Cause I be shuffling these decks like a lot, man. I be, <laughs> I always am like shuffling these decks. I don't know why. So I got some type of obsession with shuffling the cards. <laughs> Before I do a reading, I'm just here shuffling cards while I'm watching uh reruns of Buffy the Vampire Slayer or <laughs> or Angel or, or Xena Warrior Princess or some shit. Those are my gems. Those are my things growing up, man. Let me go ahead and get you, uh, or, you know, episodes of uh, Star Wars. <clears throat> I can't believe all these cards fell out like this. Gemini, dang. I said Star Wars, and then all the damn cards fell out. Was you real excited when I said that, huh? <laughs> all right. What messages do we have for Gemini? Someone rising Venus, okay? Okay, this one came out. Forgetting oneself. And is this me? Is this me? <sighs> okay, she has like um a sword right here. Okay, so what that is saying is that you're trying to cut out forgetting yourself or forgetting that part of yourself that needs to be satisfied you're done that's what it's saying you're done cutting out that part of yourself and forgetting that part of yourself that needs to be satisfied because he has on a mask here like he doesn't even exist okay but you do exist that other side of you do exist the other side of you do need to be uh fed the other side of you do need to be uh feeling wanted and 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 attracted to somebody else but you you have unconditional love for your twin flame so i'm thinking this is something that you're trying to do quick without your twin flame even knowing it okay so uh gemini <sighs> if this reading resonates with you then go ahead and hit that like share subscribe to the channel hit the bell notifier to know and i will be uploading more of your messages all right and if it didn't resonate with you, don't worry about it. Like I said, I'm going to get you on the flip side, baby. Yeah, I'm going to get you on the flip side. So until that flip side, <laughs> peace, love, and light, Gemini. Hold tight, baby.